Well, hello everybody. This is uh, this installment of this leg of the journey, uh, heading up Weston Mountain. Just pulled up out of town of Weston, and now we're pulling out on the what's called the Tollgate Highway, the highway that runs between Weston and Elgin, Oregon. Tollgate being about dead center and the whole trip getting there. So anyhow, we're just about to hit the grade going up Weston Mountain. It, we're uh, going to hit about a 16 to 17 percent grade going up up over the mountain here until we get up on top anyhow and then uh yeah we'll hit elevations all oh, around 4400 feet above sea level uh, not extreme but uh can't get an awful lot of snow in the winter times if you've watched some of my earlier videos you run up the hill up to uh, Tollgate and spout spring ski area uh, you'll see it's still pretty good uh, jag snow up there yet even though here we are latter part of May. Still got good snow, which means well, we'll have good water come summer. So anyhow, I'm going by Bigfoot there. I'm not sure what that was about, but anyhow, headed up to grade. Got a few twists and turns. You got your passing lane and your granny lane going up here for all the truck traffic comes through. And and today's pretty pretty light traffic, so we can buzz up here pretty much, not have to worry about it anybody being in our way, i sit back and let you enjoy going up the grade here. We get up on top, it'll flatten out a little bit, and yeah, it'll be, we'll be back in the timber then, and, and then kind of a residential area. A lot of folks live up here, a lot of summer cabins, a lot of people live year-round, and, and a lot of just great recreational opportunities, horseback riding and hiking and motorcycling, snowmobiling in the winter, ATV riding it up uh, that's a big thing around here too both the wheeled ATVs and the tracked ATVs so I'll sit back here and shut up and let you enjoy the ride up here and we'll pick her back up when something interesting comes along I don't know if you noticed there or not. I just watched myself in that goofy little convex mirror that I've got and, and uh, get some pretty good leaning in some of them corners. And Every once in a while, I'll even use the throttle lock there to just maintain my speed, give my right hand a rest. Uh, yeah, like right there, as a matter of fact. So, anyhow, yes, yeah, get good good stretch of road on a motorcycle. This, this isn't too rough right here. They repaved this here a few years ago and this part's not too rough. We'll get up here a little bit further and the road kind of gets a little more a little more primitive, a little rougher, bounce around a little bit more. But, but uh, yeah, it doesn't affect the throttle lock much or the leaning in the corners. That's always fun. You don't get the same gyroscopic effect on a three-wheeler leaning in the corner that you do on a two-wheeler. But uh, yeah, it's still fun to get out there, breeze blowing, blowing by you. Yeah, if you've been watching the speedometer there on the old Riker, you notice it's scooting along at a pretty good clip going up this. So still, we're still in the yeah, 16 and 17 percent part of the, the grade here. We'll be for the next mile or two till we break out on top. And, and not even not even breaking a sweat going up here. The old Riker's handling her all in stride. That, uh, that three-cylinder 900 engine, that they, they got a pretty skookum scald on that thing when they build it. So I'm impressed with it. Got all the power I'll ever need. <clears throat> yeah, 
Yeah, there I am back using that throttle lock again. That thing is sure nice. Uh, I mentioned that in a previous video, and uh, go catch the one where I kind of kind of do my uh, accessory update on the on the Riker. I've got some more stuff to add here in the future. I just did get my Stage Four Elka rear shock in and put it on here. Well, it was yesterday, I believe it was. Or maybe it was the day before. Anyhow, took it out for a few few little test drives just to see how it worked and boy it, it just the, the difference is so noticeable um, I guess I probably should have bought a rally edition when I bought this but I didn't know if I was gonna like the three-wheelers so I didn't want to spend a fortune on one if I didn't like it well turns out I like the cotton picking thing so well, throwing some money into it and that uh, I imagine the folks with the rally edition they they really like that uh, setup they have for shocks on it and I'm telling you I'm liking these Elka shocks that I got for this thing. Now here we are we're kind of breaking up on top and back in the timber and back in the level off area or fairly level not not such steep grades. Yeah we'll go along here in this level spot for a while and then just kind of fade out and we're rushing through the timber. Up here not too many more miles is where that tornado touched down it was a uh, a lot more impressive reading about it in the news than it was looking at it, or at least a little dab I could see from the highway here. Did kind of foul up some folks' house and knock down a whole bunch of trees around their house. You see that a little bit as we go by, but but uh, you gotta gotta wonder if I was living in that house and had that happen and everything else around me wasn't uh, affected, I'd be thinking maybe I was living wrong or something. So anyhow, enjoy the ride here for a little bit, folks. Yeah, it's a little bit of that goofy road I was talking about. You know, bikes wobbling side to side and all the patches and stuff on the road and then just kind of the... Yeah, I think we're still dealing a little bit with frost heaves up here. That'll go away as summer comes along and things dry out a little bit.
Yeah, lots to the right of the screen there. You'll see the trees down at the house kind of messed up back in there. And then you're out of it. Just the rest of the pine trees just kind of stand there looking piney or fir trees looking furry. It just kind of hit that one spot right there. But boy, it hit hard when it hit. So I'm sure glad I, not me, I, I would have found that real discouraging. Yeah, we'll get up the road here just a little bit further and got a rural fire station coming off up on your right and, and then uh, a lot of people live just right right around in this area. Got a big old church on your right too. I don't think it's terribly old but kind of neat looking. I'm not sure what faith they are but they got a neat look structure. Here go, we just went by the fire, fire department there. Now we're coming up on the church here on your right. And a lot of houses too. I guess never realized there's darn many houses up here. So get get a look at my own video. <laughs> In the winter time, this stretch of roads closed quite a bit too. We just came by the state gravel sheds back there where they. Try to keep it open, but my God, they get a lot of snow up here in the winter time. It will get up oh, right around 5,000 feet, maybe just a little over on on the full trip going going across. We won't do that in this video, but in other videos where you've seen me coming up out of Elgin and heading towards Tollgate, why well, we we go over the go over the summit there to kind of headwaters the Umatilla River right there and. One side drops off the Grand Ronde River and the other side drops off down the Umatilla. But uh, great snow up here. Great, great winter recreation area if that's your thing. Yeah, it looks like we're about ready to come to the end of this particular trip down the road. Hope you've enjoyed it. I know I, I enjoy doing it, enjoy bringing it to you. And, and I appreciate the comments I get from folks. I got a real good one here. Somebody about about camera angles and what to shoot, what not to shoot. And I, by golly, I really appreciate that. And glad to implement that into what I'm doing. And got a few other little projects going on too, looking at trying to try and implement into things so anyhow thanks for riding along with me on this trip folks and appreciate you being here appreciate you watching my videos give me a thumbs up or or, or give me input give me a heads up on what i can do better so thanks for riding along